Hey guys, this is Akarat's Ladder. Hello and welcome to another video. Today's upload will contain spoilers for Chapter 15 of The Mandalorian. That's The Believer. So if you haven't seen that yet, consider watching before you tune in. That being said, we will be mostly discussing what's going to happen in the season finale because we're trying to figure out where Moff Gideon is. Where will the final confrontation of this season take place? And that's really the purpose of Chapter 15 as well. The Mandalorian and his crew break into an Imperial base. They're trying to track the cruiser and are successful. As an audience, we don't know where the cruiser is. We don't get the specifics, but we do get this shot of a map right here. And this is a very weird map because it's not really how the galaxy is usually displayed. I'll get to that in just a second. But for that reason, I was prepared to leave this and just say, well, maybe this is the mid rim. Maybe not, we'll see next episode. And that's where I was going to leave this, but Star Wars Theory actually put out a really interesting video where he looked at a bunch of available evidence and other maps of the galaxy and gave his estimations of where Moff Gideon might be, including Hut Space and Nar Shadda and other locations. And he also put the challenge out to the community to pool our collective knowledge and our resources and see if we could make guesses and figure out where Gideon might be hiding. And this is fun for Star Wars fans. This is the kind of stuff that I enjoy, especially with a show like this on a weekly basis. So here we are. Why did I say this galaxy map is weird? Well, the Star Wars galaxy is not usually portrayed as having these sort of long slices for regions or whatever else. And I'm sort of at the point where I figure this might be representing hyperspace lanes or it could just be graphical options or something else. When you usually see the Star Wars galaxy, the most prominent sort of defining feature would be the proximity to the core, because you've got the Star Wars galaxy set up in regions. You know, you've got the core and the deep core, you've got the inner rim, you've got the expansionary region, you've got the mid rim and beyond, all the way out to the outer rim and unknown regions. Then within those sort of areas, you sometimes have smaller sectors, but nothing like this that goes, you know, halfway across the entire galaxy. That's why I was ready to give up, but there's been something nagging at my brain. And I knew that there was one point in The Mandalorian where the Star Wars galaxy was portrayed in a weird way, and I knew it was related to Tatooine. And I'm going to show you guys why. Because I figured it out. In episode 2 of this season, the one where the Mandalorian is dropping the frog lady off to her planet, we get this map. But this is not how the map is pre presented in the episode. Just gonna scroll out like this. And I hope you guys don't mind this sort of gorilla style video making, but I thought you'd appreciate being able to follow along with my mouse, even though I'm just in Photoshop. But this planet right here is Tatooine because we know that's where the Mandalorian's leaving, and we know that's the start point for his journey. This is weird because Tatooine is always portrayed in Star Wars as being somewhere down here, somewhere in the galactic southwest or sorry, southeast. And here it's sort of in the northwest or the north northwest. It we don't have the exact kind of orientation here, but you get the idea. So I figured that this map was flipped because it just makes a lot of sense to orient your map to whatever's useful for travel. However, this episode actually confirms that because if you go ahead and I'm just gonna put the opacity at half here. I've sort of offsetted these two maps so you can see that they actually line up directly. So the core is the core. You can see each of these little lines here, these sort of sectors or whatever they are, and these planets all match up almost exactly. There's a little bit of difference because this shot in the other episode is tilted, whereas this one is basically straight up. But what's even more interesting is that this planet right here, Tatooine, is also present on this map. That gives us a point of reference for everything else going on in the galaxy and helps us figure out where exactly Moff Gideon could be hiding. All right, so with all of that, it should be pretty easy, right? Let's just take, and I've, I've brought the most up-to-date kind of comprehensive Star Wars canon map. This is the one that was in The Rise of Skywalker. Take that map, compare it to Tatooine in the core, try to find some other key locations. This looks a lot like Coruscant to me, and this looks like either Biss or some other deep core planet. Take all of that and just find out where this would land. Unfortunately, it doesn't really turn out this easily or turn out that well. If we take this map here 
you know, let's just put it at half capa uh, half opacity. We know the core is here. Let's just line that up. Okay. You can see Tatooine's not really close to where it should be. And this isn't a problem of scaling here. We haven't scaled the new map in properly because the only way we can line Tatooine up with here, the core is just way off center. You know what I mean? And this isn't a problem only for that map too. If I take up, I'll turn this one off. And this is another Star Wars. Uh, this is a Star Wars Legends map from the new essential Atlas or sorry, just the essential Atlas. That's what it looks like. We put it down to half opacity. We can see and line up the core. Um, it's a bit harder to see, but in that case, Tatooine still doesn't line up. It's down here and it should be over here. If we move it, it just doesn't line up. So that's a problem that indicates to me that either these maps are just not going to work or they've been skewed a little bit. So I went to do a little bit more digging. All right, so I took some time. I repurposed some of the maps. I tilted them a bit to try to make things line up as close as we could. And this sort of indicates the kind of situation we're dealing with here. If we look at this map right here of the galaxy, I took the core, tried to make it as close as I could. And I do think that this could still represent the sort of center of the galaxy, albeit not the core region itself, which could be slightly askew. I lined up Coruscant because I've kind of basing my assumption on the fact that this is Coruscant. Uh, it also tends to line up with this actually right here, which is interesting. And Tatooine. So we've got a skew of like, I, I don't know, like 20 degrees off to the left here. And we'll look at where that would place this in just a second. But I also did the same thing with the canon map. And if we take a look here, I again used Coruscant and Tatooine as reference points. And the map sort of works, but it also kind of falls apart. Interestingly, the rim itself kind of follows the trajectory nicely. We can see Coruscant here. The core is pretty close to where it could be. Tatooine is here. The problem is the rest of these dots seem largely to be made up. So it's kind of hard to tell whether we're doing something right or it's just kind of working out that way. I wouldn't even use this planet right here if I didn't have to, but there's just kind of the fact that Tatooine is not where it should be. If the map was kind of as we usually have it presented with right up here being true galactic north, so if we kind of turn this off and we look at some of these dots, like let's look at these three and see if they end up anywhere. Um, that actually ends up pretty close to Kessel. But if we look at like these two. Yeah, that's Onderon's down here. So we're not even close to anything right here. And I mean, it falls apart even more when we look at the unknown regions, because there is no Star Wars canon map that has the unknown regions as well mapped as it is here. So this is at best a guess at where things might be but i do think we get some relevant information in that we know yeah the map here is not the map here is not skewed properly because there's no real map that has tatooine this far to the east sometimes it is a little off to the east like this but again if we pull up this map of the galaxy actually let's pull up this one underneath so we don't screw up our uh, orientation and we put the I do that right let's put the opacity to 100 you can see tatooine is just it's just not that far at least not in reference to the core so it doesn't quite work out but honestly is that really important i'm not sure because we are given the interesting fact that this place wherever it is is located pretty much midway between the core and tatooine if we turn back on the canon map, it just so happens that this falls basically right where Pasana would be. If we look at the Star Wars uh, Legends map, it falls. Honestly, there's not a whole lot near here. Ramamul is kind of the most relevant thing, but it's not going to be Ramamul. Um, there's just not a whole lot around here. I mean, Bothan space is kind of close, but not really. It's... Clearly, based on my estimation, it's further away than Nar Shaddaa than I hoped. I initially thought, based on my first kind of look, that it would be near Nar Shaddaa, but I don't really know. 
if we look at this sort of ultra detailed galaxy map then yeah this is a fan in one as well and there's just not a whole lot here like nothing that's ever been super important that jumps out at me and again we're looking in this sort of region right here as yeah this is where the mandalorian is going to take place for its final episode i think the best guess would be pasana maybe there's something there with what we got in the rise of skywalker with the sith blade or whatever else i hardly remember what happened in that movie but i think more likely this is just a new planet it's not something we've been to before or there's also the very real possibility that moff gideon is just in space somewhere he might not be in some system or near a planet maybe that's the even more likely scenario at this point there is also the possibility that moff gideon is currently traveling which i think is an interesting idea if we assume that he's sort of right here where Pasana is and he started in the deep core Tython in this area, if we follow his vector, he could be heading to Scarif or Bothawi or who knows really. There's also the very clear option that maybe he's just heading back to his home base. Gideon could be going back to Navarro and I think that's perhaps the likeliest option even though it's kind of a boring one. Maybe he's returning to the test center on Navarro because he got his, he's got his new samples, he may not be aware that it's destroyed, so kind of a boring answer, but perhaps the most likely one. I think the mistake that most people are making, which is understandable, is kind of, let me just minimize this map, kind of ignoring the fact that this map is kind of off skew, and if, if we do even just look at this planned as Tatooine, we know that Tatooine and Navarro are very close, we don't know the exact location of Navarro, I believe, it makes sense that maybe that's where he's going. But guys, just my thoughts. Let me know, where do you think Moff Gideon is? Where is he going? Where will the finale for season two take place of The Mandalorian? All of that and more, please, in the comments. Let me know if I missed anything as well. This is not my strong suit necessarily, but I did enjoy looking at these maps. I cracked open the Galactic Atlas from Star Wars Legends, which is always a fun time. Until next time, though, guys, have a good one. Be safe and may the Force be with you.